Wonderful. So last week, come sitting first, if you don't mind. Last week, we had a short-ish yoga nidra with a lot of spinal movements, and then we came into a meditation. And so today I wanted to have a real breath-focused class. So I'm going to move very slowly and really focus on the breath. And then I'm going to do a longer guided um, yoga nidra tonight. Oh, Teresa. I think it's Teresa. I do. I recognize your room. Great. You're so welcome. So I was just saying we're going to do a real breath-focused practice. And then a long guided um, yoga nidra at the end. And to really sense here before we start, we're really working on switching having a deep switch inside from the sympathetic nervous system to the parasympathetic. So we're initiating um, deep relaxation within us. And so here when we start, let's close our eyes and have that sense that we're going on a journey within. And so very carefully, any concerns or worries, things going on at the moment in your life, I'd ask you to place them very carefully at the door. And so this is your hour in which to really cultivate presence and in which to be fully present with yourself. And so with your eyes closed, begin to deepen your breath. And throughout the class today, we're going to really focus on, as we inhale, the breath going down. And then as we exhale, the breath coming up. So let's have that sense now on your next inhale. That the breath goes down right to your root, to your pelvic floor. And then as you exhale, the breath rebounds, comes back up all the way to the crown of your head. And continue just like that. And try to make the breath very even. So there isn't a big pause at the end or a pause at the top or the bottom of the breath, but rather this smooth, even, steady breath. As you inhale, your attention goes down to your root, which is your tailbone, your pelvic floor area, filling up. And as you exhale, the breath comes back up all the way to the crown of the head. So it's very carefully come lying on our belly. We're going to come into crocodile pose. And so crocodile pose is where we lie on our belly. And then make a little pillow with your hands and rest your forehead onto your pillow, onto your hands. I'm going to keep my head lifted so that the mic doesn't go funny. But for you, have your head down and begin to notice your breath. So in crocodile pose here, there's a bit of pressure on the diaphragm because you're pushing into the floor and so you can really feel your breath and so feel the diaphragm feel the breath as you inhale your head is down on your hands yeah. and as you exhale and come back again to that downward quality on the inhale, going right down to the navel, 
right down to your root on the inhale. And then on the exhale, rebounding back up to the crown of the head. Really feel the center of your body. Notice the movement of the diaphragm. And notice the breath in the back of your body. Your lower ribs. The intercostal muscles between the ribs expanding as you inhale. Breath going down. And as you exhale. And now let's very carefully push back into child's pose. So knees are wide. Toes are together. And then reach the arms forward. And here again, I want you to really notice full, deep, smooth breaths. And in child's pose, it's, it's a beautiful part of this pose is that you can feel the breath in the back body, the lower back, the kidney area, the ribs, the shoulder blades. And there's all this space for the belly to expand. The knees are wide. And again, that sense of as you inhale, the breath goes down the body. And as you exhale, drawing back up. Let's take two more just like that. And have this sense of curiosity this real alertness. So when we really keep our attention very focused on the breath like this, and we move our attention up and down like this with the breath, it really builds our pranic energy. Builds our inner power. Really nice. And then from here, coming back up to all fours. And let's do a little bit of cat cow. So inhaling arch. And then exhaling round. Inhaling arch. Breath going right down to your root. And then as you exhale round and feel the lift of the pelvic floor, scoop of the navel. Inhaling arch. Exhaling round. And one more here, inhaling arch. Exhaling round. So let's come on to our back for a moment. Lying on your back, your knees are bent, your arms are at your sides, eyes are closed. And so here, inhale, feel the breath going right down, maybe even as far as your feet. And as you exhale, the breath coming up through the legs, little lift of the pelvic floor up through your spine to the crown of your head. Inhale, breath goes down your body, all the way to your feet. And as you exhale, the breath comes back up through the legs, through the pelvic floor, a little lift, the lower abdomen draws down a little bit, goes up your spine to the crown of your head. And do a few more just like that, so following the breath as it goes down your body on the inhale. And then rebounds, comes back up the body in that lift of the pelvic floor. And now next time you inhale, reach both of your arms up and overhead. And their palms are facing each other. They're going to stay overhead. And for you, this might be here. If it feels uncomfortable, to bring them all the way. So whatever works, okay? So now your inhale goes down your body all the way to your feet. 
And as you exhale, push into your heels a little bit, push into your big toe mounds. Breath going up your body, lift the pelvic floor, just ever so slightly tilt the tailbone under and lift just the lower back off the floor. As you inhale, the breath goes down your body and your back comes back down onto the floor. Breath all the way to your feet. And then very skillfully as you exhale, push into the big toe mounds. Inner thighs activate, pelvic floor lifts and just your lower back lifts off the floor. So this movement with the breath. Inhale, the back rolls back down, breath to your feet. Exhale, push into the big toe mounds, into your heels and lift up. This is strong work that you really have to focus, right? One more, inhale, breath right down to your feet. Very skillful work. Exhale, push into your big toe mounds, into your heels and tilt, lift. Feel that engagement of the pelvic floor. Really nice. Inhale, breath right down. The hands come down, the back lowers. And then exhale, let's come back around to all fours. Inhaling, arch, fill up. And then as you exhale, that lift of the pelvic floor, tuck your toes and push into down dog. And here in down dog, firm your legs, press into your, your thumb and your index finger. So you can feel that effect, protecting the wrists. And let's revisit that breath. So inhaling right down to your root, to your feet. And then as you exhale, going from your feet to your root, lift of the pelvic floor and then all the way to the crown of your head. And a very smooth breath. So go at the pace that suits you for your breath. So it may be longer or shorter than mine. It's your awareness with your breath. Let's do two more breaths here. Stay very, very present. And exhale. So now very carefully walk your feet all the way to your hands. And let's fold forward here. So you can hold on to your elbows or release your hands down. And breathe. And again, that sense inhaling, the breath goes from your nose all the way to your feet. And as you exhale, that lift of the pelvic floor and maybe releasing a little bit further forwards. Let your jaw relax, your tongue. Very nice. And now let's carefully come all the way up. Very nice. And so let's stand, feet about hip distance apart. Close your eyes. Inhale, breath right down to your feet. And as you exhale, tiny hugging of the heels, just subtle lift of the pelvic floor. Breath all the way to the crown. And more like that, inhale right down to your feet. And exhale, little hugging of the heels, lift of the pelvic floor. Very nice. And now as you inhale the movement with the breath, inhale the right arm comes all the way up. And have this feeling the arm is activated, it's moving with the breath. And as you exhale, the arm comes back down. Reach through the fingers. The movement's following 
the breath. Inhale, the arm is coming up, the same arm. Breath goes right down to your feet. And then exhale, the right arm comes back down. The arm follows the breath. Let's do two at the left side. Inhale, left arm. And again, the hand is active, the fingers are reaching. Rest to your feet, and as you exhale, the arm comes down, the breath comes up, lift the pelvic floor, breath to the crown of your head. One more inhale, reach the left arm up, and then exhale, breath leaves the feet, comes all the way up. Do both arms, inhale, both arms reach up as the breath goes down to your feet. As you exhale, the breath comes up. The arms are going down. Pelvic floor lifts. Breath to the crown of your head. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, reach the arms. Breath goes down to your feet. And fingers are active, arms are reaching as the arms come down. You exhale, the breath comes up. Lift the pelvic floor. So now left hand on your waist. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Breath to your feet. And as you exhale, I want you to lean over to the left. Stay here, inhale, fill up, breath to your feet, downward movement. And as you exhale, breath comes up, lean a little bit more, pelvic floor lifts. One more inhale, breath all the way down. And exhale, lean. Breath comes up, lift the pelvic floor. Inhale, back to center. Reach the arm. And as you exhale, the arm comes down, the breath goes up. Right hand to your waist, left arm reaches up as you inhale. As you exhale, you're leaning to your right, the breath comes up from your feet, lift the pelvic floor, breath to the crown of the head. Stay here as you inhale, breath right down to your feet. Smooth, steady, fluid breath. One more, inhale, downward movement. Exhale, the breath rising. Lift the pelvic floor. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, breath rises. Left arm comes down. Very nice, let's come standing at the top of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Breath to your feet. And now as you exhale, you're going to fold forward and the breath rises, pelvic floor lifts, fold. Inhaling, lift your heart, fill up. And exhale, fold forward. And now you can have a little bend in your knees, hands on the shins, or you might yoga toe lock your feet so that your index and middle finger are between your big toe and your second toe. And inhale, lift your heart, breath towards your feet. And exhale, fold in. So remember, a bend in your knees is totally fine. Hands on your shins is also fine, right? Whatever works. And let's stay here and breathe. Having that sense with the exhale, 
that lift of the pelvic floor, the engagement of the lower abdomen supports the deepening, but we're not focused on the deepest version of any of these postures. Our really focus is on the breath. Let's do two more here, breathing right down to your feet on the inhale. And lifting, rising on the exhale, the breath rises, pelvic floor lifts. And last one. And exhale. Really nice. Bring your hands to your waist. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale here. Really nice. You can bring your feet together and let's sit into chair pose. So reach the arms. Knees are together. You're sinking down. Tailbone tucks. And front shins are back. So inhale. And here we're challenged, right? So can we keep a fluid, steady breath? As you exhale, the breath rebounds, comes up from your feet. Lift in the pelvic floor. Draw your front ribs in so you're not opening in the chest too much here. Inhale to your feet. And exhale. Up to the crown of the head, lift the pelvic floor. Let's do one more here. And exhale. Inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, arms all the way down. We're going to do that one again. Inhale, reach the arms, breath to your feet. And exhale, bend your knees into chair pose. Remember, tuck the tailbone, pubic bone towards the navel. Front shins back. Inhale, breath all the way to your feet. And exhale, pelvic floor lifts. Breath to the crown of the head. Let's do two more breaths here. And exhale. Last one. Steady, fluid breath. Inhale, all the way to your feet. Exhale, rising to the crown of the head, lifting pelvic floor as you go. Inhale, straighten your legs, reach up. Exhaling, fold forwards. Inhale, lift your heart. And now exhale, step back into plank. Take a full inhale here again, the breath to your feet. And let's come all the way to the floor. So knees down, elbows in and lower. So push your feet back, point the toes back. Tops of your feet pressing into the floor. Knees are lifted, legs active. Pubic bone into the mat. Inhale into a low cobra. Breath all the way to the feet. And now as you exhale, float your hands. So we're really working the spinal muscles here. Inhale, breath all the way to your feet. And exhaling, rising, pelvic floor lifts, navel towards the spine. Two more, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. 
And now you we really feel how the spine was working. So hands down now and inhale, come up into cobra and try to lift more than push. And then exhale, coming down. And as you come down, that breath moving all the way up. So inhale, breath towards your feet, downward movement. As you exhale, the breath moves from your feet all the way to the crown of the head, lift of the pelvic floor. Lovely, let's do two more just like that. And exhale. And last one, inhale, breath all the way down. And as you exhale, the rising. Really nice, let's push back into child's pose for two breaths, inhale. Feel those back ribs, muscles between the ribs, that expansion. And the belly expands as you exhale down the breath up to the crown of the head. And one more like that. And exhale. Really nice. So now carefully step the right foot forward. If you need to put anything onto your left knee, please do so. So let's start with our hands down and take an inhale here. So each time we change position, we have to reorganize our breath, reestablish, exhale, rising. And then carefully place your hand onto your thigh here. Take an inhale, breath goes down. And then as you exhale, breath comes up. Think of the outer right hip drawing in and sinking low. Two more breaths here, inhale. This real sense of exploring curiosity with each breath, exhale. Soften. One more inhale. Exhale, breath lifts, pelvic floor lifts. Really nice. Hands down either side of the foot, step back into down dog. Let's take one breath here. Inhale, fill up, breath goes down. And then as you exhale, the breath rises up, pelvic floor lifts. And now pop the right knee down and the left foot forward. So start with your hands on the floor. Inhale, breath down. And exhale, the awareness rising from your feet to the crown of your head. And the lifting pelvic floor as you go. And now place your hand on your thigh. And take three breaths here. Inhale, breath down. And exhale, breath back up and lift. And notice. What happens in your body as you breathe? So two more breaths. The awareness goes down as you inhale. And then as you exhale, rises up, pelvic floor lifts. And one more fluid breath. And exhale. Your nice hands either side of the front foot. And now right foot joins the left top of your mat. 
Hands on your shins, inhale, lift your heart. Exhaling, fold. Let's do one more like that, inhale, lift your heart. Exhaling, fold. And then either roll up or inhale, come up with a flat back, reach up, awareness going down. And then as you exhale, the awareness goes up, hands to your heart. Very nice. Step your right leg back. So your left toes are forward. You're going to come into triangle pose. So your back foot is at an angle. Say if it was a clock here, this right foot is pointed to about two o'clock and the left foot to 12. If you need a tiny micro bend in the front knee, I certainly do. I, my knee locks a little tiny micro bend. Hand on your waist. And let's close our eyes for a moment and inhale, breath right down, awareness down to your feet. And as you exhale, rising, lift the pelvic floor, that's it. And so left arm extends, keep the right hip back and take an inhale and reach with the left arm. And then as you exhale, right hip back and the left hand is going to come down. So it can come to your shin or to your foot. If you have a block, you can place it on a block. And here we don't worry about getting into the deepest version. See, and again, you can look down the floor, look to the side, or you can turn to look up whatever feels comfortable for you. And let's come back to our breath. Inhale, awareness going down. And as you exhale, feel that left sit bone draw under towards the left inner thigh. Right hip draws back, the pelvic floor lifts. That's it. Let's do two more like that. Inhale, breath goes down your body. And exhale, rising, lift in the pelvic floor. Make sure the neck is comfortable. Sometimes it's nice, ever so slightly tuck the chin, creates length in the back of the neck. Let's do one more breath here. Inhale, awareness down to your feet. And notice this shape. What way does the breath feel as it moves? Your awareness feel. And now let's inhale, come all the way back up. And then turn your feet. So now the right toes face to the back of your mat, your left toes face in. Take an inhale. You can reach the right arm up. And then as you exhale, little micro bend in the right knee. And the right hand comes down to the right thigh or the shin or the ankle, whatever works. And the left hip draws back. If you like, you can reach the left arm up or you can leave it on your waist. Inhale, breath goes all the way down. And exhale, breath comes back up. Just going to make sure that you're muted, Mary. I think your internet went on you. I'm so sorry. Stay where you are. That's it. Inhaling. And exhaling. Really nice. Inhale, breath goes all the way down to your feet. Feel that rebound as you exhale, the awareness goes up. Feel the right sit bone drawing under. Pelvic floor lifts. 
And now carefully inhale, coming back up. And exhale, feet wide and parallel now, hands on your waist. Inhale, lift the chest, breath to your feet. That feeling of no rush, just focused on your breath. Exhale, fold forwards. And here, oh. Let's fold forward so your hands can come to a cushion or they can come to the floor. Inhale, lift. Oh, sorry. Apologize. Lift your chest. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, lift your chest one more time. And notice the awareness down to your feet. And then as you exhale, you're folding in. The awareness goes up your legs, pelvic floor lifts and fold. And so let's stay here. Stay with your fluid breath. Inhale, breath to your feet. Then exhale, breath up through your legs to your root, pelvic floor lifts. One breath all the way to the crown of your head. Inhale, fill up all the way to your feet. And then exhale. Take two more breaths just like that. Last one. And then very carefully, little bend in your knees. Hands to your waist, inhale, coming all the way up. And just stand, maybe heel to your feet in a little closer. Hands at your sides. Let's take two breaths here. Inhale, awareness down to your feet. Exhale to the crown of your head. Inhale down. And exhaling up. Very nice. Okay, so let's come onto our back. And here, I'm gonna use a pillow or cushion or bolster, whatever works. So if you have pillows, just roll them so that they're um, a little bit higher. And bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide. And so you want your chest lifted and then a cushion under your head. So here you could have pillows rolled in half so that they're like a long sausage. And your bum is on the floor and your back is on the cushion, the pillows. And then you have a little bit of extra cushion for your head. Really nice. Your feet are together. And for a lot of people, it can be a little bit uncomfortable with your feet just floating. And so here it might be nice to put some cushions, and blocks, whatever you've handy underneath your thighs. We're just going to take a few more breaths here. So inhaling, feel the breath go down to your root. Down to the tailbone, to the pelvic floor. And as you exhale, feel that lift. And now the breath goes up, your awareness goes up your spine to the crown of your head. 
So we're going to take five breaths just like that here, staying really present. So follow your smooth breath as it goes down to your root, as you inhale and then goes back up to the crown of your head as you exhale. Feel like you can really feel it moving down and up. Relax your jaw. Last breath here, stay with it. An advanced yogi is not somebody who can do very advanced postures. It's somebody who can stay very present and maintain an internal awareness in whichever postures you're doing. So we're going to come into Shavasana. So carefully bring your feet together and come off your bolster and make yourself comfortable. So I'm going to do a guided yoga nidra. So I'm going to stay upright as I guide you through. And I'd like you to get really comfortable. So cushions, blankets, Whatever is comfortable for you. It's really nice to have something to cover your eyes. Um, an eye pillow, which I've often made in schools with a sock and some rice. And then we'd put a few drops of lavender on the rice. And it's got a lovely um, feeling on your eyes. It's just a sock with some rice and then a rubber band at the top to seal it. You can make those for next week. So lying down. And it's also really nice to put blank cushions or blankets underneath your thighs. So this really supports the lower back. And so make yourself really comfortable. And the thing with yoga nidra is it has a beautiful way of kind of uh, because we go through the 65 points through the body of kind of having this unwinding effect. And so it really is very deeply relaxing. And if you fall asleep, that's fine. And so everybody lie down, lie down. I'm going to stay seated, but you lie down. And as you lie here, just start to feel your whole body. And all of the sensations that are present. And so let's take a deep inhale and briefly pause the breath and just squeeze your fists and have this feeling of tensing the muscles in your body. And now exhale and completely release. So we're gonna do that two more times. Take a deep inhale. And now pause the breath and make fists and just tense in your body. Squeeze your muscles. And 
then exhale and release. I'll do one more. So a deep inhale. Pause the breath. Squeeze and tense. And now exhale, relax. And allow your body to be heavy. Feel the support of the earth beneath you. And allow your breath to be natural. Not trying to breathe in any particular way. So as I move through each part of your body, just like we've been doing for the whole class, just let your awareness float, like you're washing through your body. So you have nothing to do. You're just going to move your awareness. So let's start with the awareness of your right big thumb. So you're just aware of your thumb. Maybe there's sensations there, maybe there isn't. Maybe it's just you're feeling that general area. Then your right index finger, your middle finger, your right ring finger, and your little finger. Become aware of the center of your palm. the back of the hand and the right forearm moving up to the right upper arm the right armpit the right shoulder floating your awareness over your whole right arm allowing it to release and relax into the support of the earth. Now become aware of your right side chest, your right side waist, and tracing the sensations down the right leg. So noticing, observing awareness at your right upper leg, your right lower leg, your right heel, the back of your right foot, the sole of your right foot, the front of the foot, and now your awareness to those toes. So your right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and little toe. Awareness to the whole right side of your body releasing and relaxing into the support of the earth. And now bring awareness to your left side, to the tip of your left thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger. and your little finger, the center of the palm of your left hand, the back of the hand, your left forearm, upper arm, your left armpit, your left shoulder, 
And now feel awareness of the whole left arm releasing and relaxing into the support of the earth. And follow the sensation down the left side of the body. So your left chest, your left waist, your left hip, the upper part of the left leg, the lower part of the left leg, your left heel. So allowing the sensations come to you. No need to search, no need to do anything. Awareness is floating. Now awareness to your toes on your left foot. A big toe, second toe third toe, fourth toe, and your baby toe. Awareness of the whole left side of your body, releasing and relaxing into the support of the earth. Awareness of the whole right side of the body, relaxing and releasing into the earth. An awareness to your head resting deeply. The feeling of the back of the skull as it releases and relaxes. Supported. And the sensation of your brain releasing and relaxing back. is kind of yummy. Now your face, each part relaxing. Your right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, your right eyelid softly closed, your left eyelid softly closed. Sensation of the eyeballs releasing and relaxing. Awareness to your right cheek softening and your left cheek softening. Awareness to the right outer ear and awareness to the right inner ear. Awareness of sound in your right inner ear. And now awareness to your left outer ear. Left inner ear. And awareness of sound in the left inner ear. And bring awareness to the space between your lips and the space in between your teeth. Become aware of the sensation of your tongue in your mouth. Become aware of your right nostril. And your breath moving in and out of your right nostril. Awareness of your left nostril. And your breath moving in and out of your left nostril.
awareness of your entire body from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes, inside, outside, resting and releasing into the support of the earth. Awareness of the constant stream of sensations. It's the great irony when we become very still. We notice how much vibration and movement there is inside. We must become very still to notice. How much movement there is. And so these sensations are rising, existing, and dissolving. And so you're just resting in awareness of them, allowing the awareness just to come to you. So it's not a forced awareness at all, a stillness, a soft observing. And feel how you're just welcoming all that is arising in this moment without the need to change or manipulate or manufacture. So just being with exactly what is. not changing it, not thinking about it, not judging it. Just noticing as it is. I'm just going to put on some music here as we rest.